Hey, in today's video I actually want us to talk about Society 9's women's boxing gloves. They are gloves that are targeted to women and I wanna I got some because I wanted to know what the big deal about them was. I saw them on social media a lot. So you're probably feeling the same and I wanna give you my honest thoughts and opinion. This is not a sponsored video, although I will gladly take a sponsorship from Society 9. <laughs> but let's get started. I actually heard about this brand on Instagram, um, but it wasn't until I saw one of my teammates wearing the gloves that I asked her a little bit more about it. She kind of said, yeah, she liked them, but she didn't have a strong opinion. So when I saw these Society9 gloves on Amazon for $59, I figured that, that would be a fair price to pay for something that I'm just going to try out and let's see how long they last kind of thing. So I've been doing martial arts for three and a half years now and my first pair of boxing gloves was this Fairtex brand. These were actually a little bit pricey, they uh, cost around a hundred dollars or so. Um, I'll have to look up the exact number. And I really did like these gloves until I found Society9. When I actually got these gloves in the mail, I fell in love with them right away. I finally understood why you want to have a women's glove versus a man's glove. At first glance, there's not really that much of a difference between this Fairtex glove, which is supposed to be for anyone and everyone, and the Society9 glove. But where the difference is, is on the inside of the glove. When I put this Fairtex glove or any other glove that I've borrowed from my teammates to just try out how they feel or that I've tried out in the store, what happens is I feel the glove inside, I feel my fingers touch the glove, and of course you feel the wrist. But the difference in what I feel with the Society9 gloves is when I put them on, especially when I have my hands wrapped for class, I feel support all the way in the back of my hand, in my wrist, I of course feel the fingers and I don't know how to explain it other than to say that I just feel so much support. And you might think that that's not a big difference but it actually is. I have found out throughout the last two years that when I hit the bag when, with a Society9 glove, I don't feel afraid that my wrists are gonna bend. And what I mean by that is that when my fist lands, it not, it's very rare that my wrist bends and looking back, my wrist would bend all the time with the Fairtex gloves. Not because there's anything wrong with the Fairtex inherently, but because I'm so small that my hand is like swimming inside that glove and it's not always being, it doesn't always, it's not always like supported by the glove. And I actually, I'm not afraid to hit the bag really hard anymore because I know that my wrist is not gonna bend. It's like, if my wrist bends, it's because I made a miscalculation with my distance or something like that. Whereas before, I felt like it was like a common occurrence that my wrist would bend and that's obviously not good for you in terms of like injury and like overuse of your, you know, if you're constantly using a, a joint in a certain motion, it's already gonna be likely to get you towards injury imagine if you're doing it wrong it's even more um more dangerous than if you were just hitting the back normally now like i said i love these gloves but they absolutely worn off in about a little less than a year and about when it was about a year i changed to a new glove which are my black ones um, I love the design of this glove and I actually cannot find it in the website anymore. I found these only on Amazon back when I got it for $59 and I wonder if it was like a little experiment that they ran because they never again have produced this exact model again. My only pet peeve with this model was that it was very soft from day one. But on the other hand, I feel like they worn out very quickly in terms of just being like stiff on the inside like you want someone in the middle right you want them to be worn in but you want to feel protected now i train five to six days a week depending on how i'm feeling this week i've been a little sick so i took some days off but my point being that i'm constantly wearing these gloves and at the end of one year i could see only damage here at the end um at the end of the fingers and I can only guess that's from trying to open my Velcro with the other glove. The other downside to these gloves, which is not 
so much my complaint but that it's so soft that you're probably gonna be hitting your training partners really hard <laughs> in the gym that i go to we mostly go we try to be really light we want our training partners to come back the next day and train of course i guess i should also say that i wore these gloves during a period of time where i was solely focusing on developing my own power so that means i was not only going to class but hitting the bag after class as hard as i could every day so it's no surprise that these broke down like i mentioned i liked the gloves immediately so when i felt like it was time to upgrade for a new pair of gloves which was about a year later which i think is actually pretty fair um of a, of a run for a boxing glove that i used almost every day for an entire year by the time i was ready to buy these pair of gloves they actually had come out with um, many many different colors there's like teal ones pink ones white ones with gold black like all black black with gold so it was awesome because i didn't have to like match my other teammate that i already have society 9 boxing gloves and by then the both of us had gotten a third teammate to buy society 9 boxing gloves so you have three girls buying the same brand but we could all look different um which is great because i always want to like have my own style going on <laughs> now these are supposed to be like their best model and these have much more padding than these did um not only are these 14 ounce gloves i think this might be 12 um but they just you can tell that there's more foam in there like it's super compact and like like i said i feel supported for the first month or so i felt like i had bricks in my hands <laughs> because i was used to them my last pair being so soft so that was kind of weird at first to get adjusted back to like a, a, a real you know like Two more ounces I'm, i was carrying two more i'm now carrying two more ounces in my gloves so now i absolutely love these black gloves i think these gloves are about 80 dollars. i absolutely love them i recommend them to every single female that is in the gym every single girl that comes in tries the class and they ask me about my gloves or where to buy gloves i love society 9 i send everyone to society 9 and i think that you should go ahead and get them especially if you're already committed to martial arts now the only time you may not like this model is if you're somebody that is bigger and maybe you find like the male boxing gloves to be a good fit for you i know that you can't really tell my size on the screen but i'm five foot i'm not even five foot one i'm five foot something i weigh 110 to 15 pounds depending i have tiny hands and i've i've legitimately seen my head coach who's you know some 200 plus pounds he's six feet three or something if not more he has worn bare text gloves so that just lets you know how crazy of a difference inside the glove there is if if we're both wearing that same glove my hand is in there just floating in the air while he his hand is probably very supported and that's what i feel when i put the society nine gloves on i really do feel the support like i said everywhere in my hand and i recommend that you get it um especially like i said if you're already committed if you feel like you're somebody that's smaller i would definitely recommend that you at least try these on at the store and see how they feel i know that for my other teammates who are taller than me they don't feel that problem as much um but they have tried mine on and said that they liked how it felt as well so the main reason why i wanted to make this video is because anytime you have a product that is for men and there's a version being marketed to women it's usually really shitty like it's almost like cringy and that was my biggest fear in going in to try these society 9 boxing gloves because they're not a big name they're a small startup and they're i think they're starting to build a lot of momentum but i can tell you that it's actually worth the money the one thing i will say when you have leather gloves they don't smell as much but the simple solution to keep your gloves not only smelling clean but actually help you last longer is one get one of these like drumstick air freshener things mine used to smell like cedar and it's just like a bunch of wood chips inside it just helps neutralize the odors 
and you just put it inside your glove like I don't know what I tend to do especially if there's any sun is just put this inside and put this like near a window or like anywhere where it's getting a little bit of sun and just let it dry that way because if you're constantly keeping this in a humid state it's gonna break down much quicker now when I was gonna buy these gloves for the very first time I looked at a few reviews online and all I could see were like a few girls complaining that the top layer would chip away really fast and like I said the only place that I did see that with my old ones uh, is right here at my fingertips other than that these gloves look pretty amazing to this day I have like tiny little bits that are chipped but it's not a big deal but the big deal was made with the Bia or Bia I'm not sure how to say it Bia boxing glove and I can actually say that I don't see any chipped material in my glove. I've had these gloves for probably some 10 to 11 months now. I would have to look that up. But it legitimately looks brand new. So in case it's not clear by now, I think you should definitely get the Society 9 boxing gloves if you're looking to buy it for a present for the holidays or just to try a new gym in, the, uh, in January or if you are just a female that already practices martial arts like boxing, kickboxing these are awesome gloves and I recommend them like I, like I said, I recommend them to everybody so anyway that's all I have for you today. Thank you for watching if you still are. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you'd like to continue talking about world domination. And make sure to follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram. Sign up to my newsletter on my website. I'm going to get back to doing that so I can let you all know we have new videos directly to your inbox because YouTube doesn't always deliver the notification. The no notification so I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.